my parents did not do it, I won't be here. If they have stopped after my elder sister, I will not be here. My brother will not be here and my baby sister will not be here. So I have to continue doing Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Ashley here again. If you're seeing my face for the first time, I'm a YouTuber based in Hotel of Nigeria. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for always coming back. Um, in today's video, I'm doing something different. I think I'm going to call it wine o'clock. I mean, it's Friday. And even though I don't have a regular 9 to 5 anymore, I still like to see my Friday as a day to just chill, you know. So, Take some wine. I have to. I like to have my music dance party. It's gonna be just my daughter and I. Um, and just relax. Like I know, yes, my Saturdays are always hectic. So I try to see um, Friday as that should be. Like I intentionally try not to do too much, like at all. So I decided let me start doing it on camera. You know how I relax. <laughs> And I'm sure you guys have seen what this title is. Yes, I want to talk about my experience. Sex after childbirth. So first and foremost, I'm not going to be using the V word like that because I don't know what will happen to this video if I do. And I'm not sure I'm going to be saying sex a lot. But we're all adults, so I'm sure whatever word that I decide to use we we'll still understand what I'm trying to say, right? I mean, childbirth changed everything for me, including intimacy with my husband, and not in ways that I thought it would change, not in ways that people have told me, ah, this will happen, ah, that will happen. No, not like that. Completely different from what I was expecting. But yeah, there were changes, and I want to share those changes with you guys. So, Sounds like something you're interested in, then please get your glass of wine, come back, relax, and listen to me talk and see. <laughs> Why do I have that weird people laugh? So, guys, um, FYI, I had my child. Through, what should I, through my BJJ, yeah. <laughs> so it wasn't a C-section, it was through, you know, yeah. And um, so that should be considered when I, when you're listening to me share my own experience. So, you know, I'm pretty sure that someone that had a C-section, person's experience will be completely different. And even someone that even had the same experience with me, someone that even gave birth to their child, the same way I did. The experience will still be different from mine because everybody's body is different, so everybody's journey is different. So there are things that I expected, there were things that I was worried about that had people tell me, oh, it's going to, it's not going to, like my JJ will not go back to what it used to be, so it's going to slap or be wider or I can't even remember exactly how they were saying it. But I, that was the notion I had because these are the things that I've heard. And I, remember, I know someone was still friends to today. He bluntly told me his wife had their first child and was going to have their second child through CS because he doesn't want anything to happen to her down there and he won't be able to really enjoy intercourse with her. So I felt okay, so maybe that's true. And I had some people tell me, it depends on the doctor that handles you. So I was like, how will I know that my doctor would, you know, help me get back to normal? Then I read a lot of um, articles that said, do this, do that, so that, you know, to go back to normal, so you're able to enjoy sex, so you're able to do blah, 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 blah. I did not do any of those exercises because after I had her, I just didn't care. Like, I did not care what was going down down here. So thank God I did not need any of those things because if I don't be, <laughs> if I don't be for me because I did not do any of those exercises they say you should do when you're peeing, when you're doing this, when you have time, you do like this. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but yes, I read all those things. Mostly I'm keeping over, I read it. And the plan was I was going to do them after I had my child, if I had my child and after I had my child. But if I had my child, every time I tried to do it, I almost pee on myself. So I said, okay, after I have her, I was having that 
pressure on my bladder so I could be able to do it. But after I had her, I did not even remember. Like I did not remember I was supposed to do any of those things. Like I did not remember. So yeah, um, I want to share with you guys the things that my own experiences that I never experienced. Like there were not things I expected to happen to me when it comes to intercourse after childbirth. And the very first thing, the loudest of them all, is that it went back to normal. Like probably better than before, <laughs> if I'm allowed to say so. Like yo, I can't believe I was scared. Like I can't believe I thought you know it would be messed up especially when i was told i'm having a big baby i'm like oh barry they need barry she's definitely going to ruin everywhere for me and you know yeah so i thought okay even though i was told that yes you know they will give me a, a pistiot for me i hope i'm pronouncing it well which is i'm sure most of us know when they medically Hurts you or electively, I don't know the right word, guys. Please, I've been sitting this for a while now. But the shy your doctor cutting you to you know, help your baby come out easy and they stitch you back. But I mean, I've had scars now, and some of them never went back to what my skin was before. So I just felt for oh, as long as I'm having a big baby, then that place is doomed. Like, I don't care how. Pro, my doctor is. I don't think this place will ever go back to normal again. And I was too weird about it to ask my mom. <laughs> she goes to see this video. <laughs> I was too weird about it to ask my mom, like, what will happen down there after everything. So I just went online and I saw very contradicting stories. But I just made up my mind and I kept saying it to my mom, What if you know, and it's never the same? And I kept saying it so. You just know that the young man was not interested in that conversation every time he brought it up. So I just chilled and I was living in my own fear by myself. So when they told me I was having a big baby, it even increased the fear. I was like, hey, Jesus Christ, I imagine the size of my head, the size of her father's head. I said, hey, this big head will come and pass here and scatter everywhere for me for the rest of my life. But yeah, to the glory of God, because I know it's God in heaven. <laughs> to the glory of God. My doctor, I like to give credit to my doctor, he did a very good job. Like, before I my six weeks appointment, and I asked my mom to check for me, like, even she herself was impressed about how, you know, everywhere had, like, brand new. And like I said, it feels like it's even better than before, if I can say so. Like, when I finally started getting some action, you know, I was like, I don't understand, this to get tighter, like, understand so yeah it went back to normal that's something i didn't expect yep um another thing i didn't expect is that getting my mind ready to you know to start um having some intimacy with my husband and getting my body ready are two different things like when um i knew that okay very soon you know bros will start asking for some action. I worked on my mind. I tried to overcome the fear of what if I get in there, what if it's painful, what if it's this, what if it's that, you know. Um, and I completely healed inside. I don't know, for some reason, I just assumed that it was healed inside. So, I was like, have I completely healed inside? Because I knew I healed outside and all that. Like, just so many fear. Would you still find me attractive? What if, you know, because I, I knew I'd not seen me like in a very long time. So, I was like, Okay, what if he is not attracted to what my terminal looks like, the new stretch marks on my body? Like, even with myself, I was not even accepting the body cell. So, how am I expecting someone so to accept it? I mean, who do I know about his child to this world? <laughs> but yeah, like, I did a lot of work on my mind that I forgot. Not that I forgot, like, I did not know that. See, my mind and my body are completely two different entities. Yeah. Because after I walked on my mind and I felt I was ready and I told Bros that I was ready, when it was time, my body did not respond. To so all the things that we tried to do to make it respond, the thing just decided to you know. So yeah, that's something that I learned the hard way that yeah, getting my mind ready did not get my body ready. Like I should have, you know, 
done more, should I say research, to figure out how to get my body there. Yes. And with time, I found out why that was happening, which I think I'll still talk about. But let, let me just stick to this point first. My mind was ready way before my body got ready, and I did not know that was going to happen. So that's something I did not expect. Yeah. Oh, another thing that I never experienced is that lubricant will become my best friend. Okay? That me and lubricant is the best. <laughs> We got five and six. Guys, lubricant is underrated. Like, you know, some people is not sure, but for me, it was underrated until I became a mother. <laughs> like, when I go to pharmacies or wherever I go to, and I see lubricant on shelves before, I'm like, hey, Sheila. So, there are people that need this, that need this thing that I am overflowing the natural. Um, Chabez changed it for me. My well dried off. So lubricant became my hardy, hardy. So that's something that I did not expect. The another thing that shook me was that um, sleep, lack of enough sleep or lack of enough rest actually affects um, my drive, like my desire to, you know, get some action. I'm like, before I used to think, okay, because when I was working, sometimes I'm exhausted, but I still get it done. But that's not the kind of exhaustion. That one is base. The exhaustion that comes to motherhood, you're spitting, you're doing blah, 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 blah. You did not sleep well in the night throughout the day. She was cranky. Maybe she has been titting or something. She had made her cranky throughout the day. Then night, she has finally slept up and I just want to jump on my bed and just pass out. And you're not going to be. Okay, as, as a good wife, I will attempt to, but my body will say, the sleep that we need. And I do not know that will happen. Like, sleep will just, I just had to come to the realization that, girl, it's because you're exhausted. And this one is not that you're not, you don't want it. You're just too tired to respond to any touch. So that's something I do not know that sleep would affect you. So if, if it's something that you're struggling with, you should just get more rest and drink more wine. <laughs> Who would have thought? Who would have thought that something that is talked about as being so pleasurable would become work? Hmm? Because something that motherhood has now changed for me, or childbirth has changed for me, is that you now have to do book. Yes, so not book with him, no. that work cannot work. It still has to be spontaneous. But I have to book it in my head, like. I have to tell myself, okay, it's been a few days, so it's probably going to happen tonight. So I have to plan my day in a way that you know my body will be ready for it in the night. Do you get so that you know, it will just be like old times? So yes, you now have to schedule doing it. <laughs> what I keep telling myself when I'm you know be feeling that like, then I say, well, if my parents did not do it, I won't be here. If they have stopped after my elder sister, I will not be here, my brother will not be here, and my baby sister will not be here. So I have to continue doing this thing. So yeah, I have to scare it in my head. Um, another thing that I'll say I do not know until after childbirth is that breastfeeding actually affects um, your urges. I think. I think it affected mine. Like there was like a 360 degree turn from when I was breastfeeding to when I stopped breastfeeding, like it changed completely. Like the, all the months I was breastfeeding her, I was, it was as if I was doing it out of obligation. Like, okay, I need to do this thing. But after I stopped breastfeeding her, let me call it final. I don't know, maybe it's in my head, but I think so. I, I'm not sure. Maybe when I have another child, I'll try and see if it's the same thing. But I think breastfeeding affects or it was affecting my own urge for me yeah so um because my need for lubricant reduced when i stopped breastfeeding so if you are breast if you're currently breastfeeding and you know your body's not responding like it used to it might be because you're breastfeeding that's just my opinion like i said i'm not 100 percent sure i'm not an expert or anything but that is what i suspect was happening to me Mostly because when I stopped breastfeeding, there was a huge change. 
if I need to say something, right? It's okay if you don't want it. I I hear some people go months without you know getting intimate after they have a child, and um, when people hear, they say, for what? Why are you stabbing the man? He will go outside. He's the man that wants to go outside. He still go outside. Like start giving him two weeks after you have a child. He wants to go outside. He will still go outside. Yes, you. I would not advise anyone to stab their partner. But if you're not feeling up to it, there's no point. Like the last thing you want is to force yourself and, and be irritated by it and be irritated by your partner because if that goes on on and on and on, you might start you know hating him or resenting him or just having one negative feeling towards him, which might in turn affect your relationship. So I know yeah, some of us are lucky enough to have partners that understand and while some men don't they just want to get some like Come on, I paid your bike price. That's what some of them say. But yeah, I hope that we are all with understanding partners. So there's no point forcing yourself if you're not feeling up to it. Like you just you, you grew a human being in you for ten months. I, I keep saying ten months because I carried my own child for forty one weeks. So that's basically four weeks make a month. So to me, I, I was pregnant for ten months. Yeah, so you carried a child for ten months. You went through how many hours of labor and you delivered, whether it was true, you know down the you know, JJ or it was C section or whatever it was but it was traumatic. Childbirth is traumatic. I told the same people say it's not for me it was traumatic. And if you're honest with yourself, you know that it was traumatic. Like it was just between you and your God. The fact that it came out of life is between you and your God. Not because you're strong, not because of something that you ate and all of that. So you went through a traumatic experience. It's okay not to want to get into it. It's just communicate how you're truly feeling with your partner and Hopefully you understand. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. As long as you know you're not being wicked. Because I know some people will be so you know you wicked. Ah, I bought your picking, you won't fuck it by again. I can see how you won't think as that. No, as long as you're not being wicked, you just need time to recover and be yourself again. That's completely okay. It's your body, it's your decision. You are like his wife doesn't mean he owns your body. No, he does not own your body. So it's your body, it's your decision. Take as much time as you need. It's okay to take forever to heal okay not forever sure but if it's taking too long then you probably need help i know there are people that there are therapists that focus on you know helping couples get back in action after they have a child so i don't know how you can find any of them i don't know anyone in particular please if you know anyone please mention it in the um, description in the comment section but yeah i hope you get some action so you are boss because it's important you know so guys i'll see you in my next video thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like comment subscribe and share bye